Ohana. Today's video is a little different. I'll be answering questions from the Accepted Test, which is a Wheel of Time book tag created by YouTuber Rhythma. I meant to have this video out a lot sooner, but I needed to take a small break from videos for a bit. Major shout out to those YouTubers who do this daily or even weekly. So if you want to learn a little more about me and some of my opinions and thoughts on the Wheel of Time, keep watching. If you just want to know what I have planned next, go ahead and skip to the end. First, big announcement, I've joined the team at Wattseries.com. We aspire to be your true source for Wheel of Time show information, and my sleuthy colleagues have already released new articles this past week, so if you haven't checked out the site already, please give it a visit. I'll still be active as an individual on Twitter and YouTube, but multiple heads are definitely better than one when it comes to tracking down news. So without further ado, the accepted test. Question 1. How did you first hear about the Wheel of Time and what made you want to read the series? So when I was in college, I was chatting with someone online one day about books. I told them what book I was reading then and they basically replied with, That's crap. You should read the Wheel of Time. While I don't condone poo-pooing other people's tastes in books, the recommendation did have me seeking out the eye of the world. I picked up my copy in 2000 and I kept on reading from there. Question 2. If you had the chance to join an Aja in the White Tower, which one would you join? So if you've watched my other videos, you already know that I'm brown Aja. But when I first started reading the series, Yellow was the first one I considered. I was a pre-medical student in college, and thus the mission of the Yellows appealed to me. It wasn't until later that I realized that my brownish tendencies were really the core root of what drives me, even as I try to help people with their well-being day to day. So what's my favorite piece of lore or world building? I thought about this for a really long time, and the thing I keep going back to is the channeling. Without channeling, the Wheel of Time wouldn't be the Wheel of Time. It's integral to the series and I love how much depth there is and what you can and can't do. I would love to be able to study it myself, but unfortunately, we don't have channeling in our age. Question 3. Spoiler alert for the Lord of Chaos. If the Black Tower had Ajas, what might some of them be? The first type of Aja that I think would form is one dedicated to working with the White Tower and exploring what can be done with the One Power when Saidin and Saidar are both used. I think another Aja might be dedicated to cataloging the known Saidin weaves, researching new weaves or new uses for old weaves, and learning how to best teach these weaves to the men learning in the Black Tower. So basically their own version of the Brown Aja. Question 4. Who's a character you love but would hate to meet in real life? So, love might be too strong a word here, but I admire and respect the wise ones, and I would probably be terrified to meet them in real life. I'm pretty non-confrontational, and Soraleya in particular would have me walking on eggshells in a constant state of anxiety. I actually know someone who would be an amazing wise one, and I love and respect her, but I'm also quite scared of her. Question 5. Who's a character from another book that would make a good warder? Vin from Mistborn. She's clever and resourceful and can be dedicated to a fault when she has a mission. Even without her Mistborn powers, I think that she'd be an amazing ally to have on your side. Question 6. What's a scene from the books you're most excited to see on screen? So I immediately thought of amazing scenes from the final books. But since those are far off, I think what I'm most excited to see is something that happens off screen in the books, the gentling of Loghain. I hope and strongly suspect that they'll be bringing the scene to life in the TV show. Check out my Block 3 video if you want to know more information. If my suspicions are correct, that means that we're getting new content that will add to character arcs and world building and I can't wait. Question 7. What are your favorite and least favorite book covers? Hands down, my favorite book cover is the ebook edition of New Spring. The poses, the colors, the faces, the simplicity, I love it all. Jason Chan's art style is amazing and I wish we could see more Wheel of Time art from him. Least favorite, this is so hard but I'm going to pick Lord of Chaos. The reason is there's so many amazing things that happen in this book and somehow this ended up as the cover. Someone described it as looking like a romance cover gone wrong, and I have to agree with that. 
When I'm reading a book, I don't want to be embarrassed by the cover, and unfortunately, this is an embarrassing cover. Question 8. What's a location in the Wheel of Time you'd like to visit? Tarvalon. There's so much to see, from the Shining Walls, to the Ogier Grove, to the White Tower itself. I think Tarvalon strikes me as the location that would represent the Wheel of Time the best. Question 9. If you could make your own Sir Angreal, what would it look like and what would it do? So Rebecca from Reading the Pattern has a great answer that I want to steal. But as long as she'll let me borrow her travel to Angreal, I think I'd like to create some sort of healing to Angreal. Due to the complicated nature of healing, any sort of Sir Angreal probably wouldn't be able to replicate the full effects of being healed by an Aes Sedai. But if I could create something that would allow the holder to have enhanced healing, similar to what warders receive, that would help so many people. As far as what it looks like, I think a snake curled around a staff would be appropriate. Question 10. What's another book or a series you think Wheel of Time fans might like? So the last 10 years of my reading life have been dominated by Brandon Sanderson and the Wheel of Time. I think many Wheel of Time fans have similarly already branched out to Sanderson, so instead I'm going to recommend the Codex Alera series by Jim Butcher. It's a completed six book series that grew out of a challenge to Butcher to write a good story out of the lame ideas of Lost Roman Legion and Pokemon. I think he more than surpassed the challenge, and while the series doesn't quite reach the epic proportions of the Wheel of Time, it's a fun, quick read. Finally, tag some Watt content creators and or fans to do the tag. I wanted to pick people who didn't already do this, so I'd like to tag John from Watt Up and Lauren from Unraveling the Pattern. If you're a Wheel of Time fan who hasn't already done this book tag, feel free to participate too. Okay, so what do I have next? As I mentioned in my last video, I'll be making a video about what we know about Block 4 before the shutdown. I may or may not add some things that I forgot to discuss in my videos on Blocks 1 through 3. I was also thinking of doing some videos looking at particular cast members that I didn't touch upon very much and breaking down where they were in relation to the Wheel of Time on Prime production schedule. First up would be either Alexandre Belong or Kaya Alexander. Comment below if this is something you'd be interested in. Don't forget to include the name of the cast member you'd want me to do a video on. As always, to get notifications when my videos are released, follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. And don't forget to check out watseries.com for all the latest news. Thanks for watching!